we have developed an NIO standard field enclosure for the Centum VP and ProSafe RS systems, which we will introduce here. The NIO standard field enclosure is a remote cabinet that can be installed in hazardous areas. It stores the NIO device and its design has been standardized. The standardized design eliminates the need for design modifications to individual cabinets, allowing the reducing of man hours and contributing to shorter construction times. On the left is the NIO standard field enclosure for Centum VP. On the right is the NIO standard field enclosure for ProSafe RS. Indicated by the number 1 are the power units for the field power source. Indicated by the number 2 are the node interface units for upper link communication. Indicated by the number 3 are the base plates for installing NIO modules. Indicated by the number 4 are the receiving terminals and the circuit protectors for power source management. Indicated by the number 5 are the splicing boxes for optical cable termination. The field signal lines for the Centum VP NIO field enclosure are connected to the terminals on the base plate indicated by the number 3. While in the ProSafe RS NIO field enclosure, they are connected to the general purpose terminal indicated by the number 6. The ProSafe RS NIO field enclosure is equipped with a general purpose terminal indicated by the number 6 for supplying power to 3 and 4 wire field devices. These are cable entries for fixing field signal cables. There are three types available. This is a plate for cable glands for fixing field signal cables using a cable gland. This is a plate for sealing system frames made by Roxtech for fixing field signal cables using a sealing pad. This is a gland plate for fixing field signal cables that can only be installed in safe areas, allowing the cable holes to be drilled anywhere. NIO field enclosures are set up outside, and they are sometimes required to protect electronic equipment from harsh environments during construction. In such situations, they can be installed by flexible installation. This is an installment method in which the dedicated enclosure and the base unit to be installed inside it are ordered and delivered separately, allowing the field signal lines to be connected first, followed by the installation of electronic equipment. Next, we will explain the details of flexible installation of both the Centum VP and the ProSafe RS. We will explain about flexible installation of Centum VP. Here, a dedicated enclosure has been set up at a designated location, and the field signal lines have been connected to the terminals. After connecting the field signal lines, the terminals are moved out of the way to allow installing of the I.O. base unit. Next, the I.O. base unit is installed. After installation of the I.O. base unit, the terminals are fixed to the base plate. This is followed by the removal of the metal clips used to fix the terminals. After removal of the metal clips, the I.O. base unit is moved to the designated position to screw it into place. Next, the power base unit is installed. Then the I.O. base unit and the power base unit are connected.
The power lines of the power base unit are connected to the AC terminals. The earthing cable of the base units are connected to the earth bar. And that completes the installation. Next, we will explain about flexible installation of ProSafe RS. Here, a dedicated enclosure has been set up at a designated location, and the field signal lines have been connected to the terminals. After connecting the field signal lines, the terminals are moved out of the way to allow installing of the I.O. base unit. Next, the I.O. base unit is installed. After installation of the I.O. base unit, the terminals are fixed to the base plate. This is followed by the removal of the metal clips used to fix the terminals. After removal of the metal clips, the I.O. base unit is moved to the designated position to screw it into place. The dedicated 3-4 power lines of the field terminal are fixed to the I.O. base unit. Next, the power base unit is installed. Then the I.O. base unit and the power base unit are connected. The power lines of the power base unit are connected to the AC terminals. The earthing cable of the base units are connected to the earth bar. And that completes the installation.